so much junk. Forty dollars. Today, a guy came by and he's a real comic book collector, and I got him all sorts of stuff that he really wanted. I got him like the first issue of Bishop. Remember Bishop from X-Men? I got him some early comic farling. First issue of X-Factor. The singing contest? No, babe, it's not the singing contest. What you see before you, it's probably a couple hundred dollars worth of comic books that I've collected. I'm down to two boxes. I probably had about 10 before, and I am getting rid of them. There's a lot of sentimental value in these comic books, which is what makes it so hard for me to get rid of this stuff. Um, I've had this stuff for like 20 some years, going back to when I was a kid, going back to when I used to draw comic books. A guy came in by yesterday, looked at the comics, and bought nothing. Rifled through everything. He wanted everything for like 50 cents, and I'm not that desperate to sell stuff for 50 cents, especially when I have a lot of number one issues. Some good stuff, some good value there for the right comic book collector. I'm gonna give it another go today with somebody who's gonna come in by and check it out. Let's see, what did, what did you got there? Okay. So we got the Punisher War Journal. We got First Pig, Prince Bishop. I think that's like 10, 15 bucks. All right. This thing's just dope. That guy. Vampirella, McFarlane Spider-Man's. That's First Omega. And then this Tales oh, of Soul. That's true, that is First Omega. Yeah. Alright, you can have all that, and I will throw in this extra. <laughs> totally. I'll take it, man. If you need to take it off your hands, like Alright, you can take that too. Ooh, yeah, that one's cool. Yeah, these are dope. I love this dude's art. Yeah, these are awesome. Alright, boom. You have all that for 40. Beautiful. Cool, man. Sweet. Alright. That is that is something. <laughs> I'm getting there. Good luck with the rest of them, dude. Thanks, man. Thanks, dude. It's fun going through them and talking about oh, them, honestly. Yeah, That's it's... part of the reason why I still like pull up holding on to stuff. Some of my favorite stuff. part is just like going through people's stuff and I'm like, oh, look at this. You know what this is. You know, you know what happened to this couple? You don't want a uh, first edition never open Arkham Asylum? I would take that if you want to, if you want to give me that. You want to buy it? No, yeah. I can't afford it. But that's cool. I have this, but yeah. not the hardback. Yeah, the hardback is crazy. Yeah, that one's cool. This is cool too. Just dark, little visions. Alright man, I'm gonna, I'm gonna head out. Alright bro, thanks right. my man, thanks. Alright bro, enjoy man. Alright bro, thank you. Have a good one dude. Alright, so I managed to get rid of just a few of my comics. <laughs> Not enough. $40 worth. Which, you know, I think he, he pretty much picked through a lot of the good stuff. And uh, these guys who collect, they, they know what they want. They're looking for the first appearance for a lot of stuff. First Omega Red, right? First Bishop, right? First uh, Apocalypse, all that kind of stuff. Fortunately, a lot of those kind of issues I've already don't have. I've already sold them. So um, what's left is a lot of what I call mid-tier kind of comics, stuff that may go for a buck or two each and uh, on their own. It's going to be pretty hard to get rid of, but I'm going to keep trying. I'm going to keep trying. So what did you sell? Why would someone give you 40 bucks? I'm going to show you the kind of cool stuff that I had and why people want it. This is a rare issue for Daredevil, Frank Miller. It's when Wolverine showed up in that. Early Frank Miller comics are awesome. Remember 300, the movie? Mm-hmm. He wrote that movie, that was his book. Sin City, that was him, he's famous. Got it. Okay, what else do I got? I got these early issues of Nightfall. You know who that is? This is when Bane breaks Batman's oh. back. The movie is based off this comic book series. These are collectibles. Got it. You know the next X-Men movie? Nope. See these issues here? Age of Apocalypse. You know what the next movie of X-Men is going to be about? It's going to be about that. That's right! This is going to be worth something one day too. Okay, can you give that to me and I can read it? No, you can't read these, baby. These are collectibles. You don't read collectibles. You're going to destroy them with your fingers and your oil on the tips and... Sorry, I just... I, these are my babies. I, I get a little crazy with my babies. Word on the street, Marvel's going to be making a Cloak and Dagger movie. Nothing's been announced, but 
It's an awesome comic book series. I happen to have all the early issues. So. Is that going to be like a Vampire Diaries? Battle Angel Attila? Supposedly, James Cameron is going to make a movie based off of this until he started doing the Avatar movie. Remember James Cameron? He did Avatar, Titanic. So that's what my day has been like. Getting rid of my comic book collection. More people coming by later. Let's see what I can get rid of. It's so hard! These are my babies. Imagine giving away your babies. Like real babies. You don't give away babies, baby.